I've been sharing more beauty videos on Instagram and TikTok and I was quite surprised but um, it seemed like a lot of people liked it. Um, way more than I expected. So today I wanted to quickly shoot my daily makeup routine and share some of my go-to products. Also, I wanted to share that I am not an expert in makeup, but I feel like over time I just kind of figured out what looks good on me. So before I start, I've been getting a lot of questions about my necklace. I got this necklace when I went to Tuzhan Kowan area with my mom. We randomly like came across the Swarovski flagship store and they were doing like some sales so we had to go check it out and also the store is like really stunning. So if you're in the area, definitely worth checking it out. They also have a cafe on the very top floor and apparently they are known for good cafe lattes. We ordered it, it was pretty good so I also highly recommend it. Um, usually before I start my makeup, I use this Tone Up Essence from Tear Tear. It acts as a sunscreen but also like a primer. So it's really convenient to help prep your skin. I also have this one, Prime Primer Classic from Vanilla Co. It's this way. That one, I typically use it if I have a shoot or if I have an event to go to, to like really help prime my skin. Usually day to day, I don't wear foundation because I think it's a little heavy for my skin, but when I go to events or um, have like an important campaign shoot, I think that's when I typically wear foundation, but regularly, Day to day, I don't use foundation. I use this Thai Grass Camo Drops from Dr. Jart. Or I use the Daily Aqua BB Cream from Insulderm. And this is like the last one that I just started using. Um, it's the Mask Fit Red Cushion from Tear Tear. Like I know this one went viral on TikTok and it's supposed to last 72 hours. And I know like no one wears their makeup for 72 hours, but um, I do really love this, but I think I got it in a shade a little too bright for my skin. So today I'm just gonna use this to quickly cover some redness on my skin. Luckily, I don't have active breakouts, but sometimes I do still get active breakouts if I don't take care of my skin. The really interesting thing about this Camo Drops is it's in green, but if you don't blend it out well, it like turns orange on your skin. So it leaves like orange, like BB cream-ish marks. So typically after I do my skin, I do my cheeks. Um, this is the blusher that I've been using religiously. Um, this is the NARS After Liquid Glow. After Glow Liquid Blush in Shade Behave. My brother's girlfriend got it for me for my birthday and ever since then like I've been using it daily. I really love the shade. It's like it's like a nudie pink, but it really makes a huge difference. It gives you such a natural like blush look. So I really love using this product. I always put a little bit of blush on my nose. And right now, like this one is glowy type of blush. But if you want like a matte type of blush, um, I'll go with the nudes like Mousse Care Cheek. These are like my go-to colors. Um, they have four different shades, but um, number two, Pink Topper and Nudie Nude, number three. I also like layering blush. So maybe today I'll just layer a little bit of Nudie Nude. Also, I typically don't like using a lot of like brush or like sponges on my skin. I think I got so traumatized after I had like the worst breakout of my life. Um, I definitely talked about it in my previous video. But ever since then, like I'm so scared because I don't get to wash it every day, right? So I'm just worried that it's like not hygienic. Okay, so my cheeks are done. Then I do my eyes. So I used to use this Lily by Red Nude Keyboard number five in warm membership. I really like the nudie, like warm colors, but apparently clean girl makeup is no longer popular this year. People are doing a lot of like grunge makeup. You can't really do grunge makeup like every single day. It's a little bit too much. So I kind of incorporated the like smoky eye makeup into my daily makeup. This palette I really love, but didn't really have a really dark shade of eyeshadow. So I bought this one. Uh, this is the Roman Better Than Eyes Dried Buckwheat Flower. So this color is like much better to achieve that smoky eye. I also just got this brush set from Olive Young. It's from Philly Millie. Um, I really love 
how like compact it is. Easily bring it around for travels. It also has a mirror. I'm gonna start with the base. Before I go in with my eye makeup. Typically, Asians don't really have deep bridge here, so I like to create it with eyeshadow. I typically use the Lancome Lash Idol Gel Eyeliner, but because I wanted to do the like smoky eye makeup, I bought this Lily by Red Starry Eyes 9am to 9pm Gel Eyeliner. So I use this and I put it on my lids. I know it looks really weird, but trust the process. And then I grab my two fingers and I basically smudge it. Does it look that bad <laughs> after you blend it out? After I do that, I take the um, angled shadow brush, um, use this, put it over my eyelids. Definitely want to make sure that you are blending it well. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Basically just like draw a wing. I use the exact same shade to like blend it a little bit on top. Better, that looks more natural. This is basically the eyelash curler that I use. Um, it's from Olive Young. I like definitely tried using multiple different curlers, but I don't know, this one works the best for me. It doesn't like rip out my eyelashes. So for mascara, I use this Lash Idol mascara from Lancome. I've literally been using this for like years now. For contour, I use this Play 101 stick from Etweed House. It has um, highlighter, bronzer on the same stick, so it's like really convenient. So I basically just put a little bit here on the tips of my nose. Okay, I also like literally am not an expert, so I don't even know if I'm doing it right. For highlighter, I'll put a little bit here. A little here so I just use my fingers to blend it so this is another highlighter that I use it's the skin lights 107 sheer pink from Revlon um, apparently I saw it on like one of the TikTok videos it is one of the items that you have to buy when you go to Japan so when my brother went to Japan I asked him to grab one for me just go like that here a little bit on the tip of my nose, on my forehead. So this is um, it for my daily makeup, but if I have an event to go to, um, or if I have to like shoot for a campaign, I sometimes notice that my forehead is very oily. So I recently bought this Vanilla Co. Prime Primer Finish Powder. So I'm not gonna use it today, but basically before I leave um, to finish up my makeup, I would like grab this and like dab it on my forehead or some other areas that typically get a little oily for me. I almost forgot the most important part of my routine. Um, my lips. <laughs> I typically don't wear lipstick, but I just use like lip gloss. This is the Plum Me in shade number six, but like this is my favorite part. It's using the lip plumper. This is the Gotom Lip Plus from Kibo. I got the master level. They have like three different levels, original, master, and grandmaster, but I felt like grandmaster would be like too strong for me. And I was right because it's already pretty strong. When I first put it on, like my lips were stinging. That is the end of my really quick daily smoky eye makeup. I hope you liked it. I share content more often on Instagram and TikTok. So follow me on Instagram and TikTok and I do plan to do more videos on YouTube. So stay tuned and I'll see you in my next video.